Welcome traders to this educational video of Nifty Analysis, episode number 22. In my previous educational video, I had shared that if Nifty Spot manages to close above 12,200, then we could have a short term rally till 12,300 and even 12,450. Now, market has not done the way, uh, you know, it was shown on chart. Something else has happened. I'll come to that point in the daily charts. But before that, we'll analyze the higher time frame chart, which is the weekly time frame. Now, in the weekly time frame, nothing much has happened in the last week. But prior to that, we have a very big green candle. And this is a very big plus point for the bulls as the big green candle has come on the back of a very important support, which is the 50 week simple moving average. Now, after that week, we have a doji and nothing much has happened. So overall charts look pretty good for possibly uh, bullish traders. So nothing much appearing from the daily charts, but in the, in the sorry, weekly charts, but in the daily charts, what we can see that prices are jumping just up and down when they are close to the 50 day simple moving average. Why this is happening? Because market is basically choppy in the short term. We have been seeing market going up, coming down, again, giving a bounce back, again, coming back down. And one more thing has happened. My level of breakout was 12,200. What happened on this particular day on 12th Feb? Uh, the market closed at 12,201 point something, but then it started coming down. So now the million dollar question is whether was it a, a false breakout and after a false breakout is the market going to come down or this is just a consolidation and after this consolidation again, we'll see a healthy uptrend. So that is the main question to be answered today. Now, before I come back to the answer, what we should understand is in the weekly chart, we had this rally, the one week rally. This was a very big rally, which happened suddenly in a one week. And generally after a very large rally or after a very large fall, market normally consolidates the volatility contracts and then we can again see a healthy trend. So this is the first thing we need to understand over here as traders. Now to explain this in slight detail, I will go to even a shorter time frame. What we can see over here, I'll just mark this thing for you. We can see that there was a very, very big gap over here. This is a pretty huge gap when we see it in the uh, early charts of Nifty Spot. After this gap up, market had gone up and then it started coming down. So basically market has filled this gap. At times we all know that, you know, if there is a gap up or a gap down market comes back to that particular point to fill the gap and then again, you know, goes back into its original territory. So there are two theories over here. One, if this was just a price action from market just to fill the gap, then maybe markets will, uh, you know, go back to its original trend, which was on the upside and start trending up. But if that is not the case, then they have to break a support. If the market wants to come down, market will need to close this particular level. That is 12,040. So let me take it as, you know, 12,020. So if market closes below 12,020, then we might have a short term dip till possibly 11,900 or even below levels. All right. And overall trend over here, it still remains bullish because we have seen in the weekly chart let me show you the weekly chart from here itself because we have already seen in the weekly chart that overall state of trend seems to be very much bullish in the weekly charts. So as I uh, will repeat my stance on the market, if market closes below 12,020, then we could have a dip till 11,900 and possibly even below than that, which would be a short term dip. All right. But my original bullish view is still existing that if market closes above, if Nifty spot closes above 12,200 levels and sustains for a day, then we could inch towards 12,300 and even 12,450 levels. All right. So as a trader, we need to understand this, that markets are choppy and we have to be open at both the sides. All right. So this is what I wanted to share with all of you. In this particular educational video, let me know by your comments below. I hope these videos are helpful for you and trade wisely.